Hey guys, welcome back to Spend a Video. Today I'm going to show you the best settings for OBS 27.1.3. So this is a 2021 update. This update will also show you a beginner's guide to everything, how to set it up from the beginning when you just installed um, OBS. So I'm just going to go through that as well. And uh, yeah, I would just say let's jump right in. Just like start streaming. Obviously, I'm going to do this for recording. So the best recording settings. Um, start virtual camera. It's actually a feature that has been added a couple of versions ago. And this actually allows you to use, for example, in Discord, in Zoom, whatever you can use, whatever is displayed here as a camera. So you can also put your webcam here or whatever you want to show here um, and actually use that as a uh, virtual camera for another software, for example. So that's very easy. Studio mode, you also have it. So this is just a preview of how it's going to look when you're recording. Um, here, of course, I have two audio, so the desktop audio, which is everything that's like Windows sounds, videos, sounds that come from Windows in general, and my microphone, of course, as you can see here. It shows you the only disc spray that I have right now, which is the primary monitor of mine. It's 920 by 1080 as I'm recording it right now. Because I'm going back to the basics, I'm also going to show you how to add a scene. Um, so that's really simple, actually. You just go in the scene place here, you do art, and call it whatever you want. I never really changed it, I just called it scene. But you can have it, call it, for example, uh, um, like the name of a game or whatever the reason might be that you'll record it, um, the scene. When you have done that, uh, you go to the source, which is also very important because it's going to be the source that you want to uh, record. I have it on display capture because I'm always just capturing my, my, yeah, my display, my monitor. So everything I'm doing on my laptop. So um, that's for me, but for you... Maybe you're gonna do game capture, of course, so you're gonna click that, and then you have to click also the source of the game, so the game needs to be running, and you need to select the, the name of the game um, in order to, uh, to to make it look, and you will see it appear here, the gameplay of the of the game in question, so it's important that you check that it does work well. Um, so that's for game capture, and then you also have a lot of other options. It's simple, it's really basic, but it's very essential, because essentially it's gonna show you what you want to record. In my case, just my display. Here, so let's jump right in settings, which is also very important, of course. Okay, here we are in the general tab. It's, it's not really that difficult, it's really just the English preference. I have it on English UK, the dark theme, I like to use it. And then, of course, a couple of world outputs for when you're streaming or when you're recording. So yeah, there are a couple of uh, a dialogue, for example, that I use. Um, these are mostly preferences, uh, nothing really much to add. So um, it's not really that essential right here. Now there are actually some new features for a streaming option, but um, as I'm doing recording, because I never stream, I can't really go over these uh, new features, but um, I'll definitely go over the recording ones. So as we are here in the recording tab, I'll show you, uh, most importantly will be the output mode here above. Put it on advanced, really important. Uh, type standard, and then you have this one, which is a preference. I have my own recording path. I just called it OBS recordings, and I have it on my D disk because uh, of lack of space on my C. And uh, so, yeah, you, you can make it whatever folder you want. And uh, select that here. You have to do browse and select that actual folder to make sure that they, all of the recordings go there. If you can't find, make sure that you look at the recording path where it's actually located and where OBS actually sends the uh, recordings files and then mp4 is the recording format i like mp4 because a lot of softwares can read it most of them so in your case i would also definitely advise you to use mp4 uh, as i said earlier i have two audio tracks one is for my desktop audio which is going to be everything that's windows related sounds if i play youtube video music it's all going to be considered as my desktop audio and then of course we have my microphone which is obviously like a second uh, audio source uh, encoder now you will generally use a graphics card whichever you want have you know you could have an nvidia graphics card but uh, i don't have any graphics cards integrated in my laptop because it's a laptop i just use the uh, x264 which works fine and i definitely advise you as well as well if you don't have a um, graphics card integrated risco output it comes back to the resolution that you need which is 920 by 1080 very important uh, the rate con control i always have it on cbr actually with 50,000 uh, kbps Definitely advised as well if the CPU usage is very important. Make sure that this one is on uh, on ultra fast, because um, even if your computer isn't that uh, that yeah that fast, my computer is actually pretty slow at this point. It's not the fast computer, so uh, definitely advise in my case, but also in yours if your computer isn't that fast either. To actually just put it on ultra fast. So uh, even in your case, you'll just have to put ultra fast in any case. It's the best option. Profile high, that could change if you want, but um, even with my computer, I know it can uh, it can go on high. For me, it works. So you have to look in your uh, in your case. Um, so then I go to audio. I said I only use the first two tracks, but but I always have it on 320 uh, audio bitrate anyway. So over here we have the audio tab, which is also pretty important. If you go up here, whilst I'm recording, so I can change the settings. But so I have it on that one. Then channel stereo. Uh, so here I have my two, once again, uh, audio sources, so my desktop audio and my um, 
microphone so I have voice meter but I actually have a blue yeti but I use this software which is down here that makes my voice better it's called voice meter so I actually use that as a microphone so be sure that well you can find tutorials on my channel by the way if you also have that or another software that uh, makes your audio better make sure that you select that as a microphone because um, then it will be picked up that's very important that you use actually that in that case as an audio source for your microphone video comes back to the basic outlook resolution here is 920 by 1080 this you can still put it on length of sharpening scaling 36 samples um, still should be uh, the best option and 60 fps or higher of course if you want that's not a problem then we have the hotkeys our preference i don't really use any for uh, hotkeys but uh, if you just want to select a button on your um on your keyboard to make uh, yeah to start actually streaming or recording click on one button why not you know it's very easy i don't i don't for me it's not really necessary but you can definitely go for a for a hotkey in that case then at advanced it's actually also pretty important uh, so process priority high no matter how uh, good or bad your computer is i definitely advise you to do high in that one and then uh, yeah this will also be on free direct 3d uh, most of the time anyway i go for nv12 and then 709 and full the color range if it's on full it's the best one because it actually shows the full capacity of the colors so that's definitely a, something i advise uh, for the rest here same not too much important parts so i'm just gonna go back here so there you go i wrapped up the tutorial if you have any questions of course leave them down below there's no problem in the comments i'll answer them as fast as possible and uh, I, of course, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.